All right, guys, geometry. New update. Yay. I think. Um, is that really something to be happy about? Anyway, uh, at most times, I don't even feel like it's something to be happy about. But geometry came out with a new update, guys. Let me just hide this real quick. And, well, quite a lot of stuff happens. No, no nothing happened. I'm just trying to hype you guys up for no reason. Um, first video, guys, they came out with two new skins. There's a new charm, but everyone thinks it's mid, not gonna lie. Honestly, in my opinion, I just get it, just have it. You can get it if you want it. It is what it is. No one's stopping you, and no one's gonna be mad at you if you get it. They have a DJ skin and a farm skin, which, not gonna lie, nobody really used this charm, so not too much people I've seen were happy about the, you know, the farm skin either. But hey, at least there's a DJ skin, and you know you can't really play a match without DJ. Not unless you have to accidentally go into the match without DJ and then carrying somebody in insane, even though nobody brought DJ. But anyways, yeah, I, I, that had nothing to do with RL. Anyways, um, yeah, new update, guys. Anyways, guys, that's all for announcements. Let's hop into this video. Alright, guys, I would like to use this time to talk about the sponsor of today's video. In my dreams. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of dreaming right now. If only I actually had a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, 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 there's no way I'd get a sponsor. But, um, yeah, we should probably get into the video for real this time. Hey, let me get him in. Hey, let me get one, too. Hey, let me hold one. Yeah, let me get that right there. What the dog doing? Sorry, guys, I couldn't. I, I could not hold it. I, I'm sorry. I just love that what the dog doing, ma'am. All right, but anyways, we're, we're actually in the video now, and as you can see already, I've gotten a pretty bad placement for Chocolate Sword with my range. Why did I even place it? And that, that's, that's not even like a good placement, especially at this time of the game. By the way, we're going to be soloing with just this loadout. Keep that in mind, and I do actually end soloing with just this loadout. You'll see how by the end of the video, if you watch till the end at least. This video is going to be way too long, so I don't anyone's going to watch the end, but you know. Anyways, yeah, we get chocolate sword down. We're gonna get a black hole down because obviously we're gonna compare the two towers. And now that we've got both of our towers down, if we do got both of them down, I am not even paying close attention to this. All right, now that we have both of them down, which I'm actually sure we have both of them down because I'm watching the recording as some voiceovering this. Now, first thing we're gonna have to do is, you know upgrade them and we can compare the first level but you know it's not really too worth of the time to do it obviously as you can see black hole has 10 damage and 9 range you could basically say 10 dps i guess i mean like i'm not gonna do the math to actually make sure it's correct i'm only here to give you the estimates or what i think it is at least so yeah that's about 10 D dps right there while black hole's dps is six it, it it's basically six not even gonna lie pretty sure the way it works you know you sub, um, divide it by two so black holes is six per second but every two seconds it's 12 on the first level and then for chocolate so it's 20 now for level two they're both the same when it comes to range for level two which by the way it's kind of biased because of my charms which i probably said that already but i don't know um but i don't even have geo charm first so for the users you have star geo and moon you won't get your estimate here but it is what it is anyways yeah level two as you can see black hole has the 19 12 and you know same cooldown so that basically means it's a what it's 18 do we round up or down in this situation 20 divided by, that's 10, so basically 10 per second for Black Hole, which was basically Chocolate Thrower at level 1, with more range, and then Chocolate Thrower at level 2, which I can't even see. Oh, and by the way, we're going to get farms down too. <laughs> yeah, because we're showcasing the farms, so we, we just showed level 1 and level 2. Um, You're probably going to have to rewatch that because... I wasn't paying any more attention than you were. <laughs> this is going too fast for me. All right, this is level four, guys, for the farm. And it looks pretty cool. But we're going to come back to this later because, obviously, we're not earning enough cash to actually show off all the levels for that right now. So we're just going to come back to this later and focus more on our other towers. Oh, look at that. We got a chocolate. We did not get chocolate anything. We got a gold charm. But anyways, I'm going to close chat, I guess, because why not? Man, this is some funny recording I'm rewatching. Um, so now we are still comparing. I think I think we're still comparing this. 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're going to get them to level three. I, I didn't even tell you the level two stats, but uh, yeah, we're going to level three now. Uh, so far, Black Hole is better because, well, it has hidden detection, and they are basically the same, with Black Hole just being slightly less on DPS while them being tied on basically everything else. But anyways, level 3 for this costs so much, so we're going to skip this real quick and get our savior of the match, the thing that's not going to allow us to die here. I'm not going to die just yet. But anyways, as you can see here, per second, Chocolate Sower is doing 26 damage basically per second with a 14 range, and while Black Hole is doing 21.5 per second. Honestly, who cares about decimals? So we're just going to say 22 per second because, you know, when you're 5 and over, you round above. So we're just going to go with 22 per second for Black Hole at level 3. Which honestly isn't that bad. Plus they're tied in range. Well, once again, you know, at least for my charms they are. I don't even remember what we do next. So I'm I'm watching this with you guys. I'm not going to lie. We have 3,000, but we're not going to upgrade anything apparently. That's a great idea. Oh, 4,000. We're still not going to upgrade anything, so why not? By the way, once you get here, the difference between the upgrades is only by 100. So realistically, if you're going to get level 4 for anything, it'd probably be better to get a level 4 chocolate sword. But then again, it doesn't have any detection, so black hole is just more worth it. For those of you who don't have black hole, I, I can't even stress this enough. If you don't have black hole, whether or not you get chocolate sour, it's up to you. Honestly, in my opinion, I like chocolate sour more. It looks cooler and everything. But if you don't have black hole and you want a early defense tower that is just as good as black hole, the only difference is no hidden detection. Sure, get chocolate sour. You can go and suffer through all the grinding. That's you guys know. I have it because I, I got it first day. But anyways, in any case, now we are going to defeat the boss with level 3s for these towers, I guess. Oh, and we're going to place down a Ray Blaster for extra DPS, I think. And another Chocolate Sword so we can compare those two. And, yeah, we're not even going to compare level 1 because we already know that at level 1, Ray Blaster is just better. It's literally better. It's 20 per second compared to... Chocolate Sower is 10 per second, plus it has iron range, so that one is not even competition. Plus, keep in mind, Ray Blaster does start with Hidden Detection too, which kind of just makes it better, just by that alone. We're going to place another Chocolate Sower, because why, why not? And we're going to delete it, because why not? That was, that was an amazing sequence of stuff that just happened there. And while we're here, what, what are we going to do next? Uh, we're going to upgrade to level 3, even though we already have a level 3. And then we're going to upgrade Ray Blaster to level 3. Now, per second for here, I don't even know how much it's doing per second. So I guess we're just not going to compare that level either. <laughs> well, I promise you guys a comparison. And what am I, guys, what am I giving you guys? Nothing. This is amazing. I, I like this. <laughs> yeah, this is just amazing. Um, We're level 3. Ray Blaster is still better because higher range, more DPS. And once again, hidden detection, which we are not struggling on hidden because of Ray Blaster. Now, this is common sense to anybody out there, but if you're going to grind for either Chocolate Sower or Ray Blaster, get Ray Blaster. And, you know, to those of you who are smarter than that, which, by the way, did we just get a Max Farm? Uh, okay, yeah, Max Farm is basically level 4, but Rainbow. Um, Yeah, but anyways, yeah. Oh, wait, and now we're getting TJ. For any of you guys who actually have some type of uh, IQ... If you're grinding for Chocolate Sour, while you're grinding for Chocolate Sour, you're going to get Ray Blaster immediate, um, eventually. So if you don't have it, you're going to get it eventually. Anyways, the picture shows a pink DJ boost. So why am I giving a purple DJ boost? I'm trying to understand the logic behind that one. Oh, wait, and we have level 1's icon, but then everything else is just not there. I love that duo games. I'm not trying to rush anything because I know this update was kind of rushed, not going to lie. But, like, come on, man. Icons are a big thing for towers that have skins, especially ones that show the icons for those skins. Come on, man. By the way, I think something that would probably be cool is, uh, you know, animation. Like, um, animated um, things. The animated icon things. Not the ones that show up when you're upgrading, but the ones that show at the bottom before you place towers. I think animated versions of those would be cool. But anyways, we're going to get more farms because I guess we're not earning enough money. And for those of you who know... We're, we're just going to spam level 4s, I think. Is that level 4? 
Yeah, we're going to spend level fours, apparently. We all know it's best to get six farms, according to Great Dingler. I don't know if the six farms thing is, like, a thing for only solos, or if that's a thing for duos, trios, and squads. I don't use farm anymore. It became irrelevant after this, before the space event, actually. We even used it during the space event. Because, in my opinion, if you're going to play events in this game, someone has to be poor no matter what. Actually, no, that's for any game. Someone has to be poor if you're going to be playing an event. I'm not even going to lie. In EXO, someone's going to be poor that game. And it's better it's the Trapper player, not the DJ or the Mortar player. Just keep that in mind. Someone's going to have to be poor. So someone's going to have to sacrifice their money to make sure that everybody else can win. Anyways, we're still comparing, I think. And per second, I don't even know how much it's... I think I just, like, stopped comparing them after level 1 since that one was an easy comparison. Let's just say when it comes to mid-game, one has got the other one beat. Ray Blaster has Chocolate Thrower beat. And honestly, if you have Black Hole Gunner, you shouldn't even be using Chocolate Thrower. I'm not even going to lie. Like I said, I like it more than Black Hole but if you have Black Hole, you shouldn't even be using Chocolate Thrower. By then, you would already know that, you know, Black Hole is better. Because Chocolate Thrower can't be used for mid-game. It does not have hidden. Sure, it has good sub-DPS, but it does not have hidden. It can't be used. By the way, I guess this is a Max DJ. If you've been watching the showcase for the DJ, you've been watching it. Yippee, great. Um, But, yeah. Chocolate Thrower is great sub DPS, but it can't do hidden, man. It's just not going to be useful for mid. And chances are you're probably not going to have it in the late game either. So realistically, even though it could be considered all mid, late, and early, it's only just an early defense tower because, like, let's be honest, no one's going to use this thing late game. No one's going to use it mid game because it doesn't have any hidden. You're just going to delete it by, like, wave 12 because you're going to get something that actually has hidden detection. Anyways, we're going to upgrade our farms again, I guess, because uh, more money, I guess. Why does it look like I'm not even clicking the button? Oh my god, I'm hacking, and I'm having problems clicking on this for some reason. Man, I love when I can't click on my tower duo games. But anyways, I guess we're going to get two more, because like I said, the golden rule is six farms, apparently. And even though my income is high enough, I guess we're getting farms. Wow, this is this is interesting. It's like watching a game of chess. It's like watching Gossam chess and watching the 200s play against each other. You're like astonished from what you're seeing. And now I'm jumping. Back to the grindstone, guys. Um, okay, so what are we doing now? Um, we're gonna upgrade, I think. Are we? No, we're gonna upgrade black hole. Did, did we upgrade it? I, I couldn't tell. I, I think we did. So yeah, that's level 4. Um, Chalkers are still better on the DPS side of things. And um, I think they're tied in range. I don't know. I, I really can't tell, but I'm pretty sure either Chocolate Thor has more range or they're tied. So by this point, Chocolate Thor's stats are better than Black Holes. Obviously, because Black Hole is only early and mid, while Chocolate Thor can be used as a late sub-DPS, as I just explained like two minutes ago. Actually, no, that was actually just one minute ago. Um, so yeah, what are we gonna do now? We are uh foreshadowing, yes, 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 that's what we're doing. Um, now we are uh, actually, let me just get the charger real quick because man, we're gonna upgrade black hole again, I think. My best guess, yes, we upgrade black hole again to max. And once again, comparing the the temperatures, uh, comparing the towers, I don't know what I'm on right now. Comparing the towers, obviously, one has more DPS than the other. We've gone through this a hundred times already. Yeah, we already know chocolate sweet, DPS, main, sub, whatever, whatever, whatever. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the comparison between those two towers. I don't even need to speak on this anymore. I really, I have explained, like, the whole lore behind DPS when it comes to this game. So I don't really think I should even go back into that topic. For those of you who are actually interested in listening to all of that crap, yeah, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. For any of you guys who just want to skip and, like, see the previews, go ahead. Once again, I'm not stopping you. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Honestly, in my opinion, Black Hole is better, but I just like Chocolate Thor more because of the, te the texture. Yeah, the texture pack. The, the texture pack is drawing me towards Chocolate Thor. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the thing. Why? 
By the way, we've basically shown off everything I needed to show off in this video. We've shown the two new skins, and then we've given you that in-depth analysis about the thing, the comparisons. Baco and Ray Blaster are both better than Chocolate Thrower. Chocolate Thrower is just there to really look cool and something to have because you did the Easter event. There's not saying much else to it. You can use it as an early, but it's really not that useful, especially if you're soloing. If you're doing with more than one people, for people though, yeah, people, uh, you're probably going to have some type of hidden. But if you're doing it solo, really, it, it's just not the best tower to go for. You know, we've compared them at the last level. Ray Blaster is better, if not only because it has higher range and it probably has near to probably the same DPS. I don't know because I'm not paying attention. Uh, it has hidden detection. That, that's the only thing I can really say for Ray Blaster. It has hidden detection. But let's play football. Anyways, you survived that. Too bad it's getting more extreme. I really don't have anything else to really say for this video. I'm not going to lie. This is probably the end of the video, honestly. Just skip to the results because, well, yeah, there really is nothing else to this video. It's just me placing down more towers and showing you guys that I won. GG's, we won. Alright. See you guys in the next video. Peace.